Hello and welcome everyone. Today we are going to delve into the key terminology associated with ISO 17100. Understanding these terms is crucial for anyone involved in the translation industry as they form the foundation of this important standard. By the end of this session, you will have a solid grasp of the essential terms and concepts that underpin ISO 17100. Let's get started. ISO 17100 encompasses various terms and definitions that are essential for understanding and implementing the standard effectively. These terms help ensure that everyone involved in the translation process has a clear and consistent understanding of their roles, responsibilities and the processes involved. I will walk you through some of the most important words. First, we have the Translation Service Provider (TSP). This term refers to any organization or individual offering translation services. TSPs are responsible for managing the entire translation process, ensuring quality and meeting client requirements. TSPs can range from large companies with extensive resources to individual freelancers. Regardless of size, TSPs must adhere to the standards set by ISO 17100 to ensure consistent quality and reliability in their services. Next, the translator. A translator is a person who converts written text from a source language into a target language while preserving the meaning, tone and context of the original content. According to ISO 17100, translator must be processes a recognized qualification in translation or a related field and have at least five years of professional experience. This requirement ensures that translators have the necessary skills and knowledge to produce high-quality translations. Translators must also be proficient in both the source and target languages and have a deep understanding of the subject matter they are translating. Reviser a reviser is another critical role defined by ISO 17100. The reviser is a person who reviews a translation for accuracy and completeness against the source text. The reviser must be a translator who was not involved in the initial translation and has the same qualification and experience as the original translator. Revising is a crucial step in the translation process as it helps identify and correct any errors or inconsistencies in the translation. The reviser ensures that the translation accurately reflects the source text and meets the client's requirements. Then there is the proofreader. Proofreading involves checking the translated text for typographical, grammatical and formatting errors. Unlike revising, proofreading focuses solely in the target text and ensures it is error-free and ready for final delivery. Proofreading is the final quality check before the translation is delivered to the client. It ensures that the text is polished and professional, free of any errors that could detract from its quality or accuracy. Project Manager the project manager is a vital role in the translation process. The PM is responsible for overseeing the entire project from initiation to delivery. This includes coordinating with translators, revisers and proofreaders managing timelines and ensuring that client requirements are met. Project managers must have strong organizational and communication skills to effectively manage the various aspects of a translation project. They act as the primary point of the contact between the client and the translation team, ensuring that the project stays on track and meets all specifications. In ISO 17100, the term client refers to any individual or organization that commissions translation services. The client provides the source material and specifies the requirements for the translation project. Clients play a crucial role in the translation process as their input and feedback help guide the project. They provide 
the necessary information and context for the translation and may also provide resources such as glossaries or style guides to ensure the translation meets their specific needs. The source text is the original text that needs to be translated. It is provided by the client and serves as the basis for the translation process. Understanding the source text is essential for producing an accurate and high quality translation. Translators must carefully analyze the source text to understand its meaning, context and nuances before beginning the translation process. Conversely, the target text is the final translated version of the source text. It should accurately convey the meaning told and context of the source text in the target language. The target text is the end product of the translation process and must meet all client requirements and quality standards. It should be clear, coherent and free of errors, providing the same impact and meaning as the source text. Non-conformity Non-conformity refers to any deviation from the specified requirements of ISO 17100. This could be related to processes, resources or the final translation output. Identifying and addressing non-conformities is crucial for maintaining quality. Non-conformities can occur at any stage of the translation process and must be promptly identified and corrected. Regular audits and quality checks help ensure that any deviations from the standard are addressed and that continuous improvement is achieved. Quality Assurance Quality assurance involves systematic processes and procedures to ensure that translation services meet the required standards and client expectations. QA encompasses all activities from project planning to final delivery. Quality assurance is an ongoing process that involves regular monitoring and evaluation of the translation process and output. It helps ensure that all aspects of the translation meet the highest standards of quality and accuracy. Terminology Database A terminology database is a resource that contains approved terms and their translations. It ensures consistency and accuracy in terminology across different translation projects. Terminology databases are particularly useful for large projects or ongoing translation work where consistent use of terms is crucial. They help translators and revisers ensure that specific terms are used correctly and consistently throughout the translation. Glossary A glossary is a collection of terms and their definitions specific to a particular field or project. It is used to ensure consistent use of terms throughout the translation process. Glossaries are often provided by the client or developed during the project and are essential for maintaining accuracy and consistency, especially in specialized fields such as medical or legal translation. CAT Tools Computer Assisted Translation CAT Tools are software applications that assist translators in their work. These tools help manage translation memory, terminology databases and ensure consistency and efficiency in the translation processes. CAT tools can significantly improve the efficiency and accuracy of translation projects by providing translators with resources and tools that streamline the translation process. They help ensure that translations are consistent and that previous translations are leveraged effectively. In conclusion, understanding these key terms is fundamental to implementing and working within the framework of ISO 17100. They help ensure that everyone involved in the translation process is on the same page and that quality standards are consistently met. Thank you for joining us today. I hope this detailed introduction to the key terminology for ISO 17100 has been informative and helpful. If you have any questions or need further clarification, please feel free to reach out. Have a great day. Goodbye and see you next time. Thank you.